It is time to tell them uniforms and ranks and medals have become ugly. Tell them that dignity and pride are misplaced. It is time to tell Jewish people that the only way to discourage anti-Semitism is by condemning the only government in the world who deliberately send young Jewish boys and girls to their certain death and who persecute, persecutes to the point of genocide a whole Semitic nation. Explain to them that it is the Jewish government and the action of its army, not some primordial hatred for the Jewish race, which are the reasons for the invention of the new signs we often see in pro-Palestinian demonstrations, where the Star of David is equated with a swastika. It is terrible, terribly hard task for people who were educated in Israel or in the USA or any other Western democ democratic country to admit we were raised on false and racist values, actually on heterophobia. The only thing that can enhance such a change of spirit is the constant image of mutilated small bodies of the victims of these values. In a few days we are celebrating Yom Kippur, the holiest days for the Jews. On this day, people are required to ask forgiveness, not to forgive, but to try and be forgiven. I would like to quote a stanza from a poem written by the late Hanoch Levin, one of Israel's greatest playwrights. He wrote it in the 70s. Dear Father, when you stand on my grave, old and tired and very lonely, and you see how they bury me in the ground, ask me to forgive you, my father. We must all ask our children's forgiveness for not being more alert, for not fighting hard enough to keep our promises for a better world, for not refusing the evil viruses before, and for letting, be the, letting them be the victims of the horrible mental infection we are all suffering from. To look at their innocence, astonished, disillusioned, small faces, and ask ourselves, why does that streak of blood rip the petal of the cheek. Thank you.